What's going on guys, it's Mod Mafia V1 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit different video. Uh, this is how to make a Xbox 360 rapid fire mod with no chip, um, but using a push button mod, and as you can see it has no resistor in the middle. And this works, but you just got to use it a little bit different. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you the soldering points. I'm going to make this video fast. The soldering points are, if you look on the controller just like this, it is the middle, let me just move my wire a little bit, if you can see there, it is the middle out of the three prongs, so you'd solder a shorter wire uh, to the middle out of three prongs. Then, now here's where it's different. If you go to the other side of the controller, to the left rumbler pad, where the uh, two prongs are, you're going to solder to the right point. From that, you're going to take the wire under the controller. If you can see here, my wire is going through there. So you're going to take it under, and you can either solder it to the push button, or I just wrap mine around the push button. Um, so yeah, and that's what it should look like when it's done. And then you turn over, and just to make sure that it works, this controller's um, shoot button doesn't work, so I'm going to use my other controller that does work that I've done this to. Um, but just to show you that it does still turn on, uh, if I get a battery pack, hold on. Let me just get a battery pack. I hope these batteries are charged. Oh well. But here's a finished controller that I have. Uh, it's my black controller that I use. I've done this to. Uh, if I turn it over, you can see there's the push button. And it's still fully functional. Uh, if I can show you, let me see if I can show you uh, some gameplay of it now. Uh, just holding up my phone that's fine just so you get the idea um, but pretty much what you do is you just if you see you're going to want to hold the button down and the trigger at the same time and release it um, but you're gonna press it slow you can't just hold it down so so you can hear I just turn my TV up and here's doing it the right way And I'll show you that I'm just pressing and releasing it. Alright guys, but that's about it for this video, and I hope this helped because uh, my friend told me about this, and yeah. So this is for an Xbox 360 controller without a resistor, and it works for any controller without a resistor. So, if you guys like this video, remember comment, rate, and subscribe, and please give some feedback on what you think about this. Alright guys, see ya.